Hi, I'm Johnny. Today I'm going to be cruising from Burfield just the short way down to a place called Fobney Lock. There I can ready myself for the journey ahead. I'll be doing the Thames, taking that from the Kennet mouth up to Oxford. And I want to have a look at the maps, check where the moorings are and just make sure the boat's all good and ready, ship shape you might say, before I do that journey. So for today it's just a little hop along and we've got the weather for it. I'm soon underway. I pass moored boats. The Cunning Man pub, which is now open for business, albeit at a reduced scale. What was actually quite a cheery fisherman. And a pair of neglected looking river craft. Before passing under Burfield Road with its arched bridge. Let the cruise commence. This is Burfield Island Boat Club and most of these boats have electricity and water laid on. They never have to move. The line of boats is seemingly never ending as we pass the club's entrance. To my right, there's a CRT work boat. A lot of people keep a small boat along with their main boat. Soon, I'm at the first lock of the day. Well, there's half a landing stage anyway. Well, I'm at South Coat Lock now. It's not a deep lock, but it wasn't set in my favour and, well, it still has to be filled. I pull the boat into the lock using the centre line and by looping it around this bollard I'm able to easily bring the boat to a halt. Leave that good and loose. Once again I use the centre line to pull the boat out of the lock 
and bring its bow back to the landing stage. I'm off again. Well, I think this will definitely do me for a couple of days. There's even Arnco here, so it's great for mooring. I'll just go and get the rest of the ropes tied. Ah, could it be that simple? I think so. There he is. It's just a big piece of uh, cast iron. I've got a new one. It's just the right size brush for the job. Thank you. 